Audio test. One, two, three, three, two, one.
ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United States of America.
الحوارات البحرية والقوات الجوية والقوات الجوية Although he is no stranger to our shores, it's been almost eight years since he has paid an official visit to the United States, and I'm honored to welcome him back again today. King Fahad's visit is in keeping with the warm personal relations enjoyed between the leaders of our two countries, a tradition which began 40 years ago this week when King Fahad's father and President Franklin Roosevelt met to accept it underestimate. The possessed positive nature of our relations demonstrates that cultural differences, as distinct as our own, need not separate or alienate peoples from one another. As the guardians of Mecca and the protectors of your faith, you rightfully exert a strong moral influence in the world of Islam. And the people of the United States are proud of their leadership role among the democratic nations. We believe that in the years ahead, there should be and will be a more powerful recognition of the common interests shared by these two significant world forces. Already, the bonds of commerce are strong, especially between our two countries. Petroleum from Saudi wells helps drive the engines of progress in the United States, while at the same moment, American technology Arabia has conducted its economic affairs. King Fahad and other Saudi leaders, conscious of the global impact of their financial and economic decisions, the people of Saudi Arabia, a deep moral outrage over the continuing aggression and butchery taking place in Afghanistan. The citizens of the Western democracies and the Muslim world, by all that they believe to be true and just, should stand together in opposition to the cause of freedom everywhere. Afghanistan, of course, is not the only conflict in the region. We're also concerned about the tragic war between two of Saudi Arabia's neighbors, Iran and Iraq, a conflict that is raging only a few minutes by air and problems which continue to plague the Middle East. Together, our considerable influence and our moral suasion can, at the very least, decrease the threat of war. If the Saudi and American governments focus their energies, progress can be made, especially in the lingering dispute. The security of Israel and other nations of the region and the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people can and should be addressed in direct negotiations. It is time to put this tragedy to rest and turn the page to a new and happier chapter, bringing about a better and, and welcome the United States. The people, uh, thank you very much. Dr. Egander. I'm very sorry because my English is not good. I tried to speak English, but I can't speak. Uh, English is good. Now I speak Arabic. Very sorry. Fakhamat al Rais, I would and Uabd al Amrikiya. Wan Irtiahi, the Numu al Mutarid, Al Ladi Tashadu al Alakat, Baina Baladina. وأتطلع إلى تبادل الرأي ووجهات النظر معكم لما فيه مصلحة بلدينا وشعبينا وقضايا السلام في منطقتنا
Mr. President, I should like to express my happiness on the occasion of my first meeting with you on the soil of the United States and express my satisfaction with the steady growth of relations based of peace in our region. وللتشاور وتبادل الرأي في الأوضاع الدولية بصفة عامة وفي مثل هذا الإطار تأتي زيارتي لبلدكم لبلدكم الصديق. Mr. President, since the historic meeting between His Majesty's cooperation between our two countries and to consult and exchange views on international matters of mutual interest, this visit to your friendly country takes place in this same context. Fakhamat al-Rais, asmahu li an uqallib safhat al-tariqh li a'ud ila fatrati ma ba'd al-harb al-alamiyyat al-ula an fi al-hurriya wa al-istiqlal wa taqreer al-masir fi dhalik al-waqt kan ism al-wulayat al-muttahidat al-amerikiyya مرادفا لمعاني الحريه والعدل والاستقلال وكان تطلعات الشعوب العربيه متوجهه الى الولايات المتحده باعتبار مصير للحق والعدل وها نحن الان في عديد في عهد جديد اعاده history to the period following the first world war to the time when the majority of the arab countries were suffering under the yoke of colonialism when your country affirmed the principles that advocated the right of peoples to freedom, independence, and self-determination. At that time, when the name of the United States stood for freedom, justice, and independence, <laughs> ما عدا شعب واحد لم لم يقترف ذنبا يبرر ما ما لحق به واعني جاره ان القضيه الفلسطينيه تهم الامه العربيه كلها وتؤثر على على علاقتها وبلدانها بالعالم الخارجي وعدم إيجاد الحل إلا أن تساندوا حكومتكم قضية هذا الشعب العادلة ونحن لا نطلب إلا وقفة عدل تنسجم مع تاريخ بلدكم العريق وتتمشى مع الدور القيادي الذي يؤديه found themselves through no fault of their own the victims of unjust aggression the Palestinian question is the single problem that is of paramount concern to the whole Arab nation and affects the relations of its peoples and countries with the outside world. تفهم قضية الشعب الفلسطيني العادلة ستكسب الولايات المتحدة التقدير ليس في العالم العربي وحده وإنما في مختلف البلاد الإسلامية وفي البلاد وفي بلاد العالم قاطبة وكذلك الحال بالنسبة لعلاج المشكلة اللبنانية بانسحاب اسرائيل من الاراضي اللبنانيه لكي يتحقق ضمان سياده for a just position that conforms with the history and ideals of your great country a position that is consonant with its role of leadership in the international community such a position will earn the united states the respect and appreciation and your far sightedness وختاما يا فخامه الرئيس أقدم جزيل الشكر لفخامتكم ولحرمكم وللشعب الأمريكي ولرجال الدولة المسؤولين وأتمنى الولايات المتحدة كل توفيق وفي نفس الوقت لقد أكرمنا ربنا بأن أعطانا الشمس اليوم في هذا الإطار اللطيف الجميل and in conclusion, Mr. President, I would like to thank you very much and to thank the American people and all the officials of the U.S. government 
and I wish you progress and good health, and I would like to thank God for giving us a beautiful sunny day today. Thank you very much. I hope uh, come again in the United States. I see many people in my close friend. And uh, next time I come just with uh, nothing, just for uh, like uh, anybody. Thank you very much.